Schedule M. Part 1. Good Manufacturing Practices for Premises and Materials. 9. Sanitation in the Manufacturing Premises. 10. Raw Materials. 9. Sanitation in the Manufacturing Premises. The manufacturing premises shall be cleaned and maintained in an orderly manner, so that it is free from accumulated waste, dust, debris and other similar material. A validated cleaning procedure shall be maintained. Manufacturing areas shall not be used for storage of materials, except for the material being processed. It shall not be used as a general thoroughfare. Routine sanitation program shall be drawn up and observed, which shall be properly recorded and which shall indicate a. Specific areas to be cleaned and cleaning intervals, b. Cleaning procedure to be followed, including equipment and materials to be used for cleaning, and c. Personnel assigned to and responsible for the cleaning operation. Adequacy of the working and in-process storage space shall permit the orderly and logical positioning of equipment and materials so as to minimize the risk of cross-contamination between different pharmaceutical products or their components and to minimize the risk of emission or wrong application of any of the manufacturing or control steps. Production areas shall be well lit, provided with light, particularly where visual online controls are carried out. N. Raw Materials the licensee shall keep an inventory of all raw materials to be used at any stage of manufacture of drugs and maintain records as per Schedule U. All incoming materials shall be quarantined immediately after receipt or processing. All materials shall be stored under appropriate conditions and in an orderly fashion to permit batch segregation and stock rotation by a first-in-slash-first expiry, first-out principle. All incoming materials shall be checked to ensure that the consignment corresponds to the order placed. All incoming materials shall be purchased from approved sources under valid purchase vouchers. Wherever possible, raw materials should be purchased directly from the producers. Authorized staff appointed by the licensee, which may include personnel from the Quality Control Department, shall examine each consignment on receipt and shall check each container for integrity of package and seal. Damaged containers shall be identified, recorded and segregated. A single delivery of material is made up of different batches, each batch shall be considered as a separate batch for sampling, testing and release. All materials in the storage area shall be appropriately labeled. Labels shall be clearly marked with the following information. A. Designated name of the product and the internal code reference, where applicable, an analytical reference number. B. Manufacturer's name, address and batch number. C. The status of the contents, for example quarantine, under test, released, approved, rejected, and d. The manufacturing date, expiry date and retest date. There shall be adequate separate areas for materials under test, approved, and rejected with arrangements and equipment to allow dry, clean and orderly placement of stored materials and products, wherever necessary, under controlled temperature and humidity. Containers from which samples have been drawn shall be identified. Raw materials which have been released by the Quality Control Department and which are within their shelf life shall be used. It shall be ensured that shelf life of formulation product shall not exceed with that of active raw materials used. It shall be ensured that all the containers of raw materials are placed on the raised platforms or racks and not placed directly on the floor. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.